What's going on, everybody? This is CJ Hawkins, the chairman of BYU, the creator. You know, uh, I want to take some uh, time today to give a little quick update and the updated card for Lethal Lottery and let people know what's going to happen with Lethal Lottery this year. And also, I'll be talking about uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, my personal thoughts about the game so far. But first, I want to get Lethal Lottery uh, out of the way. Okay, um, you know, for, for all you longtime viewers that have watched the uh, Lethal Lottery over the last three years, um, we have decided this year to change one little rule on there. The rules are, um, of course, 40 men will be drawn in a hat um, in 20 random tag teams. And of course, Whoever wins would indeed qualify in the grand finale of the Royal Rumble match itself. Normally, we'd be doing 20 men. Normally, the losing team will be hitting the showers and going home. But uh, I thought about this year. Um, whoever gets pinned or submitted, that guy will be eliminated. And the guy's tag team partner was not pinned or submitted will still be in the... Uh, Royal Rumble match, so that'll be 30. I was thinking about doing a 30-man Royal Rumble match this year instead of 20. Um, but yeah, for the last three years, I've done um, that rule. Whichever tag team got pinned or submitted would be eliminated. That tag team would be gone, so that would have been 20 guys would be gone, and the 20 winners would be in the Royal Rumble match, so we're changing a little bit of the rules this year, which I hope everybody likes that rule. I think that rule, in my opinion, is more fair. A little bit more fair. Um, for those of you that don't know what Lethal Water is about, of course, it's 20 to 40 men from Overdrive and Aftershock, 20 and half will be drawn in 20 random tag teams and they'll all compete in one tag team matchup and what's going to take place there'll be 10 tag team matches in total and whoever wins would be in the Royal Rumble match and whoever survives would uh, be in the Royal Rumble match this year so now this year whoever gets pinned or submitted will hit the showers and go home and will not qualify in the Royal Rumble match. And his tag team partner will be in it instead. And, um, whoever wins the 30-man Royal Rumble grand finale would headline Dynasty for their respective brand and choose whatever championship they want to go for at Dynasty 4. So I'm going to run down the, uh, card... I'll start with the uh, main event matches from each brand. The Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match for the World Heavyweight Championship. It will be Ashley Dunn defending the world title against Vincent, Shadow MC, and Extreme Dan. And Ashley Dunn's been the World Heavyweight Champion since Vendetta this year. Since March of this year. Will this be the night that he finally loses? We'll find out. And on the Aftershock main event, it will be the BYU Championship. It will be Jack Fox against the new number one contender, Psycho Edge. And just now, we just decided to put in the Extreme Rules matchup for the BYU Championship at Lethal Lottery. And that smells bad news for Jack Fox and good news for Psycho Edge. But will Jack Fox overcome the odds from the dangerous Psycho Edge? We'll find out. Or will Psycho Edge become BYU champion? It could happen. We will see. Now we're going to mention about the participants in the 40-man Lethal Lottery series. Alright, I will announce the 20 Overdrive competitors. CJ Hawkins, El Diablo, Lee Andrews, Cypher, Dave the Tank Williams, Cody Hawkins, Alex Olsen, Ash Draven, Friesen, DePietro, Donathan Griffin, Jack Kippen, Matt DeMorris, Tyrant, Anarchy, Sean O'Connor, LVG, Stephen Kell, Cadaverous and Wrath, representing Overdrive. 
And on the Aftershock side, it'll be Hoovy, Big D, Josh Wall, David Extreme Kid, Domi, Jesus Jr., Chris Castle, Devin Bliss, The Pen Name, Chris Marsh, B. Snow, Brandon Moore, M.T. Wallet, Kill Switch, Big Mike, Danzig, Hammer Gascoigne, The Executioner, Jamie Eskacy, and The Nature Boy Steve Farrell. Those are your 40 participants in the Lethal Lottery. And whoever wins the whole entire series will headline Dynasty 4 and compete for whatever championship they want. It could be the BYU Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship. We'll find out at the Lethal Lottery who's going to be headlining Dynasty 4. Now, that's Lethal Lottery. Now, I'm going to mention about another subject. Um, the SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 game. I'm going to give my personal thoughts on the game itself. To be honest... It looks like a great game. It really does. Don't get me wrong. The game looks outstanding. I like the TLC match. I do like the Hell in the Cell. They improve with that a lot. And I think it looks like a great game. But here's my problem with the game. And it's a little bit of a down factor. The championships. Now... For those of you that have watched BYU, you've noticed I've used the World Tag Team titles and the BYU Tag Team titles. And I honestly do not want to unify the Tag Team titles. But on the 2011 game, I'm not sure if there's an option where you can separate the belts or not. I'm not sure if you have the option of separating the World Tag Team titles and the WWE Tag Team titles because I want to separate the belts. I honestly have no interest of uh, using the Unify Tag Team titles. Now, I heard a rumor um, yesterday. I'm not sure if this is 100% official. I just pray to God that it's not official. I, I would be really pissed off and disappointed. I did hear rumors that, uh, that the Hardcore title, the Cruiserweight title, and the WCW belt is not in the game. They took that off. I heard a rumor about that. I'm not sure if it's 100% official. I just pray to God. I hope it's false. I would be really disappointed if that rumor is true. I'd be pissed off. That would be the other downside because I've used the Hardcore title, the Cruiserweight title, and I used the WCW Championship for the BYU Championship that is held currently by Jack Fox. And it looks pretty good for a BYU championship, you know? I really like that belt. But I heard during the downloadable content too, with the British Bulldog, you also get the European title, but you know, that's good and all, but where are the other belts in my opinion? That's the only downside. Um but my question to you fans is, you know, do you think we should move to 2011? And if so, if you think we should, then do you think we should use the championship belts or go old school like Day of Reckoning series and don't even bother using the belts? We could do that, you know. We may as well bother not using the belts because I'm disappointed that they still have not put in the creative belt mode back. Because I really like that mode. Really miss that mode. But let me know your thoughts. Um, there was uh, some other things I want to talk about. Is uh, our future for 2011, and um, we're going to be doing yet another season for BYU. Um, what would you fans would like to see different next year after Dynasty Four? Um, do you want us to stay on 2010 or? Move to 2011 or go back to any SmackDown vs. Raw series or go to Day of Reckoning. Or... I do like the fact that we're on 2010. I mean, I feel that we're doing pretty good. But uh, I want to hear from you fans. What do you fans think? You know? Should we stay on 2010 or 
if we move to 2011, if you fans vote for that one, I'm just going to warn you, I won't be bothering using the belts if those rumors were correct, what I just heard yesterday. But I'm still going to get SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 a try. I'm still, I have it pre-ordered, and um, I'm going to still give it a try. I'm just letting you fans know that if I am going to go to 2011, which I don't think I want to, or I really don't even know, but I'm just going to let you fans know if that's going to happen, I'm not going to use the belts at all, period, and go old school. It's just as simple as that. That's just how I feel. Um, what else I want to talk about? Yeah, um, I want to hear some, uh, your opinions on, uh, what do you fans would like to see back, uh, do you want to see anything coming back in BYU, or do you want us to do something brand new next year, or if you have any storyline ideas, um, let me know. There's this one storyline idea I did hear, like, a few months ago, um, I'm going to use that for next year. I'm thinking about using that as well. That's one of the main ideas I want to do next year. I did hear um, one of the storylines that uh, they would like to see. Um, one of the requests I got. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, let me know what you guys think. And have a wonderful day everybody.